friends let's begin with uh, swayam we very well know that our prime minister narendra modi ji has uh, launched the digital india campaign and swayam is part of that campaign one of the aim of digital india was universal digital literacy in order to improve the gross enrollment ratio in the education sector from 20% to 30% by 2020 government of india felt that the conventional education system the traditional classroom system will be not sufficient to provide and to achieve that goal so they decided to use ict in education and swayam was part of that this is a big way it is not the first time that government thought about this the earlier government launched nme ict what is nme ict that is national mission of education through ict it was launched by the earlier government and the aim was that to use the ict information and communication technology to achieve the national mission of education and teaching and learning we very well know we are almost 130 crore in population and we have 121 crore of mobiles out of that 44.6 crore of mobiles are smartphones we have 56 crore of internet connections and internet users and we can say that almost 35% of our population using internet so why can't we capitalize and use these internet users in the teaching learning and in the field of education government has launched many schemes we know that e governance the dg locker the umang application online tax filing e certificates the bhim app e sampark the local email service so there are many initiatives by the government and swayam was one of that in- initiative for online learning so what is swayam swayam is a mooc so what is mooc mooc is a massive open online course that is a full form now we understand the words massive open online course it is a name given to any platform or service that gives online learning possibility facility uh, we have given email a name to the electronic mailing service so in the same way those who give uh, online learning facility they are mooc they are massive there are plenty of courses available plenty of material available they also provide certificates so it is open open to all online it is online and it is course so it is uh, thus uh, mooc so swayam is also massive open online course so now we move ahead there are very many examples earlier than swayam uh, the world had already many e learning platforms we can uh, we, we know such names that is edx udacity coursera futurelearn and indian khan academy so there were private uh, learning platforms but indian government thought for the disadvantage and for the common people that let us launch an indian initiative the, the initiative by government that is swayam so who launched uh, this swayam the former president of india mr pranab mukherjee launched it uh, when was swayam launched swayam was launched on 9th july uh, 2017 now we can uh, just be amazed with the feeling that 9th july was uh, guru purnima and the president uh, spoke at the launch and said that digital technology enables good teachers to directly teach large number of students who are not physically present in the class ICT solutions offer an interactive learning this learning experience 
give students of remote areas of India benefit of quality lectures and uh, lectures from top teachers. So thus Swayam is an online learning platform. Now look at the logo of the uh, uh, Swayam and look at the tagline. Free online education. So it is totally free. And we have another Shikshit Bharat Punnat And look at the small uh, mouse uh, in the logo. It is very simple. What is the full form of Swayam? Swayam actually means self, uh, self uh, without help of others. But what is the, uh, the acronym is hidden in this word, Swayam. Study web of active learning for young aspiring minds. Now it is a website, website for study, that is study web. Now it is, if you want to learn, you have to be active. And who will learn? It is for whom? Those who are aspiring young minds. Those who will want to learn, uh, those who want to aspire, aspire and get knowledge from any discipline, any subject. So that is soil and they can get. There are three basic principles to achieve by this launching of the SWAM. First is access. Access to all the teachers, all the students, even anyone from the world can access SWAM platform anytime, anywhere. Yes, any person in the world can register on SWAM. Then it is equity. It is same for all, same material for available to irrespective of their gender, their caste, their religion, their language. Quality. Best teachers are providing best material step by step. So it is it is a bridge to cover the rural area with the urban area. The urban students will very well now get benefited with the latest technology. But what about the rural students? So Swayam is uh, thus a very good platform. So who will conduct the uh, and uh, create this uh, content and who will manage this? So who will provide the content and uh, first of all, let, us, let me discuss who has developed Swayam. Swayam has been developed by MHRD, that is Ministry of Human Resource Development. Then uh, AICT, that is All India Council for Technical Education. And the technical help and the cloud storage uh, facility was taken by, uh, taken from uh, Microsoft. So Microsoft uh, provided this facility. Microsoft Azure is a cloud computing service. Microsoft also helped develop the Swayam app. Yes, Swayam has a website and a web application as well. So this is how they develop uh, Swayam. So the the platform is developed, and they will uh, who will prepare the content, who will provide the content. So there are nine national coordinators uh, related to different level of education and doing different functions. Nine different institutions were given the opportunity to manage the course to provide the content. Each coordinator is assigned a particular area of maintenance of particular discipline. For example, AICT is given uh, the, upper, uh, the the responsibility for self-paced and international level courses. Then it is NPTEL, National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning. It is given the field of engineering sector courses. University Grants Commission is given to uh, prepare courses on post-graduation and graduation and uh, non-technical courses. CEC, that is Consortium of Educational Communication, is given the responsibility for undergraduate UG courses. National Council uh, of uh, Educational Research and Training is given for school education. National Institute of Open Schooling is given the opportunity to develop content for school education. Then Indira Gandhi National Open University, that is IGNU, the university was already uh, doing the responsibility of uh, uh, online education, distance learning, sorry. But now Indira Gandhi National Open University will also prepare content and provide the uh, open education. Indian Institute of Management will focus on management courses. 
National Institute of Technical Teachers and Training and Research will focus on teacher training programs. So there are plenty of courses available. We will visit the website and see how many courses and how to register. What is the structure of Swayam course? How to learn? How the material is presented? So there is four quadrant method. Four parts of the method. First part is e-tutorial is given. E-tutorial is nothing but direct teaching and students have nothing to do much. It is the teaching by video, by animation, by PowerPoint presentation, by podcast, that is audio. So that is tutorial. Then second is e-content. This e-content will help him to revise what he has learned in the uh, video content, the e-tutorial. There may be e-books, there may be examples, there may be case studies, there may be content, uh, there may be references, there may be further readings, etc. Third is discussion forums. It means the students can interact with other students to solve his problems, to solve his queries. Then assessment. Assessment. There is uh, also self-assessment and those who want to give exams and get certificates, they have the proctor exam. Students uh, will have a test at the end of each unit and that is self-assessment. If you want to have certificates, you can have, uh, have the choice of uh, uh, examination and you have to uh, pay some fees for that, otherwise this is totally free. Swayam is totally free. Let, let me uh, discuss some of the features. It is totally free, free of cost. If you want to have certificate, you need to pay a little bit of amount. Otherwise, the, all the courses are completely free. Uh, you will be uh, given opportunity to face the exam. That it will be online exam, proctor exam and marks and grades will be given. And then these marks and grades can be transferred to your academic record. VGC has already issued the notification. It is completely online. It has websites and it has a mobile support. It, it has an application as well. So you can use it through your mobile. It is multimedia. All the types of uh, e-content is available that we have discussed through four quadrant method. Anyone, anytime and anywhere can access this material. You can learn from anywhere. Anyone from the world can register. It is available from school to PC, PG. From 9th standard to PG courses, all the courses are available. From arts, science, commerce, performing arts, social science, humanities, engineering, technology, law, medicine, agriculture. We professors have annual refresher course just completed. So, Arpit, that is. It is also uh, taken on uh, Swayam platform. Four quadrant approach, I discussed it early, earlier, so no need to repeat it. I would like to give some information about credits. There will be one to four credit courses. There will be 20 hours of uh, video lecture, 40 hours of uh, material, reading material. And most type of courses are available, credit courses and non-credit courses. UGC has already issued the notification. Is it valid? Yes, all the courses are uh, approved by Government of India, MHRD. So if you do these courses, they are valid. UGC also announced credit framework for online learning courses through SWAT. So, this regulation uh, were published in the, the year of 2016 in the Gazette of India on July 19th and it said that Swayam courses credit will be um, uh, credited to the uh, academic record of the students. You see regulation requires that university to make changes in their rules and regulations and incorporate the provision of these credits through Swayam platform. So it is indigenous, it is Indian, it is the biggest platform. Earlier there were many platforms, but now according to the latest figures, Swayam is the biggest in the world MOOC platform, providing e-learning facility. Now let's visit the portal and see how it works.